Hello everyone and welcome back to Hakuoki Kyoto Winds. Um, I may sound a little tired and unenthusiastic. That's because I am tired and not unenthusiastic, just very tired. <laughs> um, okay. So this is January. Um, so this is the next month. That's where we left off, I believe, in the last one. I'm oh, sorry, it's like <laughs> six, seven o'clock in the morning. I haven't slept yet. Except for like a nap I took. A slight nap. It doesn't really count. Anyway, let's get started before I get way too distracted and we never play the game. <laughs> hmm? Oh, come on, keyboard. Oh, come on. So last time I was playing with the uh, PS4 controller and I couldn't save using it. I did figure out how to save using the keyboard, but the controller can't be plugged in. Oh wait, maybe if I like completely unplug it? I don't know. Some games you have to use um, a program to make sure the dang controller is working. Sometimes it just works. I don't know. All right, let's see if that helped. Yep. Okay. There we go. Ha. <laughs> Was it morning? How do I turn that off? It's because I pushed enter. Ooh. Um. I don't want to skip red. Oh. Oh, I made it go away. Okay. Sure. Nope. Okay. Spacebar makes it go back. Okay. I see. What happened to me? I attempted to recollect myself. Ah, yes. Oof, that was cool. Right. All at once, the events of the previous night rushed back to me. This isn't my room. Okay, so it must have been like the 31st of December. She's like... So no time has passed. Okay, cool. I thought like an extended period of time had passed, but I guess not. Wait, are there 31 days in December? There are, I'm pretty sure. Whatever, doesn't matter, unimportant. This isn't my room. My limbs were snugly bound in tight knots, so all I could do was wriggle around in bed, twisting the blankets around me. I yearned for the comfort of my own futon, but the futility of such thoughts only forced me to confront the reality of my situation. If only I could wake from this strange nightmare. But I could not. Those men from the night before must have taken me with them. Also, um, I realized that the audio in the last two episodes was a little quiet, so I've upped it this time, and I'm so sorry if it's way too loud, but I very much doubt it. This mic is much more powerful than my other one. I'm still getting used to it. <coughs> ah. Did I already read that? I don't remember. My brain is not working at maximum capacity. Those men from the night before must have taken me with them to the headquarters of the Shinsengumi. A military unit made up of Ronin, the purpose of which was to restore public order in Kyoto and counteract the local anti-shogunate forces. So kind of like the police? How do I get me out of here? <laughs> ah, okay, found. What will happen to me now? I inhaled deeply, lying down to await my fate. Hello? It was at that moment that the door slid open and a kind looking man stepped through. Ah, he looks a little bit like the bald doctor, but maybe I'm just confused. Also, clarifying one thing real quick, I forgot about this until just now. That guy that I kept saying looked like Ken. Yeah, he doesn't look like Ken, and Ken's not even his name, it's Kent. Um, somebody I subscribe to on YouTube posted a Hakuoki, not a Hakuoki, sorry, an Amnesia Let's Play. I didn't watch it, but they were like, Kent route, part blah la la, and it was a picture of him. 
Yeah, they don't look as similar as I thought they did. <laughs> My bad. Ah, I see you finally awoken. This is no way to treat a guest of ours. Please wait, I'll loosen the ropes, alright? Um... His smile quirked as he removed my ropes. My wrists, however, were left bound. Um, and you are? Ah, so ka. Watashi wa ne, Inoue Genzaburo to yu nda. Inoue Genzaburo. Of course, how improper of me. My name is Genzaburo Inoue. 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 Alright, terminology. Captain of Shinsengumi's 6th Division, a native of Edo, he studied swordplay with Kondo, Hijikata, and Okita. He is sometimes referred to as Gen by his close friends. Alright, cool. Thank you, Inoue. Now, if you would follow me... Oh, great. They've been discussing what to do with you since morning. My fate lies in their hands. For now, they've decided to hear about what exactly it was you saw last night. Okay. I nodded curtly and struggled to stand, but my body was sore from being bound up all night. You know I had treated me with something like courtesy, but it was clear that I was in a lesser position. He must have been able to guess my thoughts, however, because he smiled at me and winked. I know they seem scary, but they're all truly gentlemen. You don't need to worry. Oh. Even at home, I heard rumors of the vicious Shinsengumi that were unflattering. It was hard to imagine that the people in charge of such an organization were gentlemen. The youngest man, Todo, is about your age, or perhaps slightly older. And there are a pair of guys named Nagakura and Harada who are very lively, so you'll be fine. Despite Inoue's reassurances, it was difficult for me to trust what I was hearing as accurate. Excuse me. Inoue led me into a room and opened the door. I stepped inside and found myself surrounded by the leaders of the Shinsengumi. Their eyes dug into me like sharp knives. I stared before me and then gulped nervously. Good morning. I take it you slept well? Sojiokita. Yeah, that's the guy I thought looked like Ken. <laughs> nope, they don't look anything like. Maybe the green eyes. Maybe the face shape, maybe pushing it. Yeah, no. <laughs> My bad, guys. My bad. Well, it wasn't particularly comfortable. Hmm. So nanda. Shut up, bro. Is that so? Uh, creep? Because when I went to have a look at you earlier, you didn't budge, no matter what I poked. <laughs> Fucking creep, dude. Get away from me. You're knocked out cold. You look so snug and cozy in your sleep. What? Thanks, pal. I like this guy. He seems level-headed. I like level-headedness. I just can't with with crazy people. I can't. I'm a little crazy. I can't. I can't. And two times the crazy. No fun. <laughs> He's only teasing you. The soldier didn't go anywhere near your room last night. 
Quite silent, I stared at Okita. Soji Okita, Captain the Shinsengumi's first division. He's a native of Edo. His brilliant prowess as a swordsman developed by training with Kondo and Hijikata. Um, weird. Okay, so the super young looking dude is a captain. I guess we'll just assume they're all some kind of <laughs> high, high level Shinsengumi soldier. Oh. With his grin still spread along his face, he glanced over at Saito. Captain of the 3rd Division of the Shinsengumi. He is a native of Edo. <laughs> I love how they tell us, like, he's from here. Oh, wait, no. No, Edo's Tokyo. This is... What, um... Starts with an H. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> I'm a ding-dong, I'm sorry. Wait, isn't it? No. Where are we? I'm so... I'm out of it. I'm sorry. We're not in Edo, I believe. I'm like 95% certain. Certain. He wields a sword in his left hand and fights with incredible skill. Ooh, he's a lefty. <coughs> I keep trying to push enter to get out of the screen, but it's backspace. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, I just wanted to see you squirm a little. Not very nice of you, Hajime, calling me out like that. I don't think Saito did anything wrong. You, on the other hand. Oi, <laughs> Temera! Uh, I think they are like the like stereotypical grouch voice is the funniest thing. I oh my god, I just can't with it. It's so funny. They all sound. They all get the same like tone <laughs> when they're supposed to be grumpy. I don't know. I don't know any Japanese people first handedly. I <laughs> I'm just talking about voice actors here. So, this could be totally different. I don't know. Don't judge me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've only heard voice actors speaking in Japanese. Well, on TV show, whatever. Doesn't matter. Moving on. Sorry. Shut it. You sound like a bunch of kids. You got this voice bro brooked. <laughs> brooked? What? Hmm. <laughs> Never heard that term before. Hichi got this voice brooked no further insubordination. Okitaka shrugged and fell silent, but the smile lingered through his bright eyes. Fucking dick. <laughs> the commander of the Shinsengumi. He is Kondo's longtime friend who helped form the Shinsengumi in Kyoto. Oh, we're in Kyoto. Duh, it's called Kyoto Winds. Ah. Oh. Why did I thought it start with an H? Whatever. Kondo calls himself, or calls him Toshi. His name is Toshi, so. <laughs> That's weird. Okay, so he's the commander. That's weird. Whatever. I'm sure. I'm pretty sure this is based off of. Some of it is kind of based off of actual history and events. So there was probably actually a commander of the Shinsengumi named Toshizo Hijikata or something like that. But he was definitely not this young. There's no way. Just doesn't, that's not how. Whatever. <laughs> we won't question it. So Hijikata, this is your witness. Oop. Oop. Oh, this brings back memories. I played this on a plane um, to Pennsylvania to meet family. I really enjoyed it. It did pass the time. It was my first time on a plane and I was really nervous. So this game really helped me out. <laughs> Thanks, game. The man who spoke was... Well, he looked more like a boy than a man. Also, it must be this guy in the lower right. I would point, but that doesn't help anybody. Maybe this is the youthful Shinsengumi captain that Inoue was describing to me. 
I'd imagine the leaders of the Shinsengumi to be older, maybe even middle-aged men. Why is there a comma? Oh! Never mind, I figured it out. <laughs> but, their faces were still blessed with youth. In fact, one might even confuse them at first glance for a gang of bohemian thugs. <laughs> at least the game calls itself out. Who are we focusing on here? Are we? Who are we supposed to be looking at here? We mostly just zoomed in on this guy's torso. That's random. <laughs> okay. He's a real stick, huh? Just a kid. Heisuke. That's a cool name. Um. So he must have been the lower uh, right hand man is who we're focusing on. <laughs> You're calling him a kid, Heisuke? Well, that's rich. Who is it? Is it redhead or brownhead? <laughs> brownhead. Look at those dead eyes on him. <laughs> he just looks pissed. The guy with the bandana, he looks so angry. I mean, this guy with red hair, he doesn't look much better, but this guy... Maybe not angry, more like totally indifferent. Right you are. To anybody else, I bet you two look like a sad pair of scrawny little brats. <laughs> I'm the only one who gets to call them out on being scrawny punks because I'm a mature adult and all. <laughs> If you have to point out that you're a mature adult, it's very unlikely that you are. Just saying, pal. Shinpachi is also a cool name. It just sounds cool. I don't know what it means. But it sounds cool to me. That's all I'm saying. Mature adult. Anything that comes out of your mouth is basically nonsense, Shinpachi. Two nearby men replied to Todo with very mocking but lighthearted tones. <laughs> he looks crazy in this picture. He looks actually insane. I'm scared. Captain of Shinsengumi's 8th Division. He is a native of Edo. He is the youngest captain and is known for being particularly energetic. Have we met anyone who's not a native of Edo? Like, it's very unimportant to me where they came from. I'm sorry, but it is. So I can't recall if we've met anybody that's not from Edo. But he is a captain. We don't know how old he is, but this kid, he looks like 18 maybe. Maybe, if that. I'm only saying that because, I don't know, it's creepy if he's not at least an adult. I somewhat recall Inoue's description of the two energetic members. His mention of them was brief, but seeing them in person was an eye-opening experience. He said the short-haired one was Nagakura, and the other with longer hair was Harada. Shinpachi Nagakura. Oh, he looks much happier there. The captain of the Shinsengumi's second division. He is a native of Edo and a skilled swordsman. He is upbeat and cheerful, and he frequently helps raise the morale of men in his command. That's super cool. How do we get to Harada? I want to read your terminology, Harada. Harada! No. Okay. Guess not. Maybe next time. <laughs> Oh my god, he sounds very childish. Leave off, you grubby old bastards! <laughs> the hell I will, boy! You think you can get away with talking to us like that? <laughs> Besides, I'm hardly mature enough to be called old. Shinpachi, maybe, but not me. You son of a bitch! I thought we were friends! 
シンパッツァンズボシタレテオコルテオトナゲネヨナえええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええ I sense something apart from curiosity towards me, though. Like a feeling of animosity? Yeah, of course, they're like super concerned that you're gonna fucking ruin everything they've got. So, <laughs> they're not your friend, pal. Sorry, I gotta pop on my knuckles. Even though I've been popping them all night because I couldn't sleep and they hurt now. Despite their cheerful levity, they had not forgiven my presence among them. Suddenly, I wanted very much to go home. I wanted to leave this place and never return. My chest tightened and I stared down, hoping to wake up in bed with all of this only a memory. <laughs> this guy. I didn't get far enough into the game to figure out who's a bad guy and who's not a bad guy. The flight was really not that long. It was like three hours, maybe? Um. No, I rolled over my blanket. <gasps> oh, God. Okay, I'm sorry. It's just I hand crocheted that blanket. I am not. I really don't want it to get fucked up because I rolled over it. My stupid scoochie chair. <sighs> okay. I apologize for all of this frightening behavior. Please, don't let the men unsettle you. Alright, I remembered what I was saying. So I don't know if this guy is a bad guy or a good guy, but he gives me bad guy vibes so hard. Like, <laughs> he looks like a bad guy. Maybe it's because he looks like Aizen from Bleach. He just does. If you don't know me, Bleach is one of my favorite animes. I really like it a lot. <laughs> For some reason, it's like not even all that great. But whatever. Um, <laughs> he looks like Aizen and, uh, what is it, Gein? Had a baby. <laughs> this is what their baby would look like. <laughs> Listen, I know the story of all of them. I know how it ends. But like, <laughs> Spoiler free. Seems like a bad dude. Oh. His voice was calm and warm, and I felt myself relax, even if only a little bit. It's actually <laughs> kind of cool. Sun and sun. Okay. Are you serious? You're the scariest out of all of us, Sanan. Oh. A colonel in the Shinsengumi. He is a native of Edo. <laughs> Surprise! He. Excuse me, I burped. He acts primarily as a consultant to the chief of the Shinsengumi, Isami Kondo. My lips are so dry. Oh, that's the worst. Nope, backspace, not enter. As he finished speaking, the rest of the men nodded sullenly in agreement. Oof. <laughs> Listen, I don't remember that, but... <laughs> I wondered, who could possibly command such fear and respect from these men? <laughs> Obviously this guy. <laughs> that doesn't help your case. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Oh, how crude. I can understand their feelings. But for a demon of a commander to feel such as well? So this guy in the blue, he must also have a reputation for being a big ol' scary pants. It's up to me to hold the integrity of the Shinsengumi to our highest standard. It is easy to be confused, however, when our standards 
or rather our taboos, are at the mercy of our own, Hijikata. Look at that look on his face. Both of their faces. I'm weirded out now. <laughs> it is true, but now isn't the time to be talking about this. And the man called Sanan and Hijikata stared at one another with a smirk. Sorry. Stop copying them, you freak. You're lucky to have a friend like Sanan, Toshi. Hijikata and Sanan sounded distant when they spoke to one another. Not exactly friendly. Still, the man who spoke had certainly sounded as the- Wait, did I read that? Hang on. <laughs> I don't remember reading what he said. Oh, I do. I did read that. You're lucky to have a friend like Sanan. Okay. Sorry. I'm, um, uh, having a time of it. <laughs> Still, the man who spoke, it certainly sounded as though he thought they were friends. <laughs> Sorry, copying them is... I don't know when it became a habit to copy hearing Japanese. Like, I do it if my husband's watching anime. I haven't really been watching anime. Yep. Whatever. Um, but like, if he's watching anime, I'll do it too. I don't know why, it's just like, in the back of my head, I just do it. I'm sorry, it's ridiculous and kind of dumb. Oh, my apologies. I haven't introduced myself. I am Isami Kondo, chief of the Shinsengumi. When you say chief, do you mean to say you're the most important man in the Shinsengumi? Yeah. Yeah, but... Well, I wouldn't call myself the most important. It's more accurate to say I represent everyone. I like listening, um, how they say, like the emotions behind it. Um, Cause then you kind of get a feeling for what they're trying to convey with this text where it's not always super apparent like if somebody's being mean or nice or sarcastic Toshi over there is the commander and Sanan is our colonel <laughs> he's so grumpy he's so grumpy it's so funny <laughs> ah Kondo, <laughs> why are you telling him all this? Huh? Why? Do you think it's a bad idea? <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> I wonder. Well, unless you think this kid should learn our secrets, maybe you should keep your mouth shut. <laughs> this kid, he looks so young. How the fuck is he a captain? Exactly! Why bother anyway? We owe him nothing. Hmm. Perhaps y'all raise good points, but isn't it rude to ignore our guests? He's so tall! I didn't expect him to be that tall, sitting down over there in the corner. Oh no! Fuck! Shut up! Shut up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, whatever. Harada, Harada glanced over at Kondo and let out a bark of laughter. True, we've already brought him here. It's not like telling him where us. Sorry about that. Mess up. <laughs> the mess up I did. I messed up. But holy, holy Hannah, that boy is tall. Like, is it just me or is his torso like weirdly lanky? Whatever. <laughs> Moving on. 
Condor had to look rather disappointed when Oh, had looked rather disappointed when he took out the spoke, but he perked up at Harada's words. Despite knowing him for five minutes, it's easy to see that his words resonated well with this with his men. He had a sort of charisma that simply drew you in, a man who is impossible to hate. Well, let's get back to the business at hand. Can you give me a full report of last night? Last night we were on patrol and we encountered some wandering ronin. They drew steel, so we fought. Some of our men subdued the Ronin, but in doing so, exposed their failure. As he finished, Saito turned to look at me. I didn't see anything. Even with my insistence, Hijikata continued to stare at me with a harsh glance. Saito remained completely expressionless, and the smile on Okita's face didn't change. Okita, you fucking creep! Look away from me! I need you out of the room! You're creepy as all, Hannah. I'm not into it. I'm not into it. Ooh. Oh, this is a good time to stop because it's been 30 minutes. I actually have a timer this time. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank y'all for coming and hanging out with me even though I'm a little bit wacky with sleeplessness. Uh, I hope the audio sounds a bit better. I tried, and if not, I'm very sorry. I will try harder next time. Uh, bye!